This is Fei Fei Li, also known as the godmother of AI. Her new startup, World Labs, recently emerged from stealth mode with $230 million in funding. Even without a product, the San Francisco-based outfit is valued at a billion. But to raise funds, was it easy from this star-studded list? Uh, well, nothing is easy, but what's really, really hard is make spatial intelligence happen. I'm just so excited that uh, we brought together an um, incredible group of uh, Pixel AI, AI talents. The strong support from well-known investors shows their confidence in World Labs and Lee's vision for artificial intelligence that interacts with three-dimensional worlds. Put into real-world context, that working with 3D, the applications, is it robotics? Is it manufacturing? Is it just us interacting with the real world when we put our AI function glasses on? You're not wrong, uh, Carolyn. This is such a foundational technology. It's a foundational ability for, uh, for computers that it has implication in a wide range of use cases. Why is Lee called the godmother of AI? Born in Beijing in 1976, Lee immigrated to the United States as a teenager. She studied physics at Princeton, electrical engineering at Caltech, and became a leading researcher at Stanford University, which is highly regarded for its AI contributions. That's where she co-created ImageNet, a massive collection of more than 14 million labeled pictures that became a crucial tool for training AI systems. The annual ImageNet Challenge, started in 2010, became one of the most important events for artificial intelligence and machine learning. The large-scale visual recognition challenge inspired teams from around the world to build the best AI models for recognizing and classifying images. The 2012 challenge showed that deep learning methods could greatly improve model accuracy, facilitating the deep learning revolution. We opened up the entire data set to the worldwide research community for free. Before ImageNet, AI struggled to understand objects in images. The tool solved this by labeling its wide range of images with descriptions so computers could learn to recognize them. We have, gone, we have come a long way since then. Back then, a decade ago, just labeling objects was a breakthrough. The dataset fueled many advanced applications like object detection, facial recognition, and autonomous vehicles. She founded the Stanford Human-Centered AI Institute in 2019 to champion ethical AI. At Stanford High, our vision for the future is led by our commitment to promoting human-centered AI technology and applications. In order to train AI to benefit humanity, the creators of AI need to represent humanity. Today at World Labs, she aims to create AI that generates immersive virtual worlds with realistic physics and detail. World Labs believes AI can help humans build better worlds through spatial intelligence to create and understand three-dimensional spaces. They're developing so-called large world models that move beyond current AI models that only handle 2D images and text. They want to make AI tools that allow users like artists, designers, and engineers to create and edit 3D worlds with realistic physics and details. To do this, AI needs a lot of data from various sources like 3D scans of environments, videos, and images from the real world. It would also use data about how objects behave and interact from simulations and virtual environments. The potential use cases are vast. Creatives could create highly detailed 3D environments for movies, games, virtual reality, and augmented reality experiences. Engineers and urban planners could use it to model and simulate buildings or cities to explore layouts virtually before construction begins. For robotics and autonomous systems, the tech could help machines better understand and navigate the real world around them for improved safety and efficiency. So to advance AI beyond what is capable of today, we need more than AI that can see or talk. We need AI that can do, just like what nature did to us.